Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Handy Danny. And uh, today I'm making a video. I know I've been kind of absent a little bit. However, yo, let's get it. So what I'm doing is I'm adding studs to a brick wall. I'm going to hang some drywall in here. I'll take you guys through the process of actually hanging a drywall as well. However, I want to show you my process in regards to getting this wood, a one by two on the wall, okay? I've already cut the wood to the size I need it which is 84 inches. So I've already done that. I ain't gonna bore you with that. So as I come over here, I wanna create my next stud and I wanna go 16 across from center. So right here is the 16 across. I see where that's at. Doesn't have to be perfect. However, uh, I'm gonna need to be able to locate these studs that hang the drywall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my piece of wood, a one by two, Put it on the wall here. And you see my cut's pretty good. And what I do is I kind of focus on throwing my first tap con. Okay, I'm not too worried about getting it level just yet for the simple fact that I'll be able to pivot on that tap con. So as I throw my first one. Let's go. As I throw my first one here, uh, the pro tip is you want these screws to sink because you don't want the screw to be popped out to affect your drywall. You know, so when I take this screw and I throw it in there, okay, I've impacted it a little bit to where it's nice and smooth, smooth enough. Let me grab my level here, take my level, put it against the wall. Sorry for the low light, but it's all I'm working with right now. And I'm able to get my piece of wood, which is cut perfect because from the floor to the ceiling there, I have a little bit of a pinch there. Another pro tip. So I need to keep this out. Level. Okay. So I'm level there, and like I mentioned before, my studs don't necessarily have to be level. Now that I'm level, I am able to go in, look at my other screw over here, get it about the same level. I'm able to throw my, uh, my bit there, and I'm able to get it inside the wall there. Uh, I'm gonna take you over here, show you what I got going on before I throw my other screws. But as you can see, that top con is sunk inside the hole there, if you can see that there, um, to where it's not gonna impede and mess with my actual drywall. So that's how you get a stud on a, a brick wall there with a tap con. I'm using a hammer drill. Typically when you buy your tap cons, your tap cons come with a bit in regards to the screw that I'm gonna put inside the wall and the drill bit to go into the wall and I'm using a hammer drill. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video. All right, peace out now. And welcome back y'all.